All right. Near the end of the first year, December 22, 2016, a few nights before Christmas, everything was quiet. I'd do a thing, like a not a creature was stirring thing, but I don't know. I, I got nothing, and I'm really bad at making up that stuff on the fly. Let's just, um... Uh, see what happens. See if we can get a Christmas Day Christmas Day mission. Maybe a Christmas Eve mission. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. Yeah, it is. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Um. Okay. What is it? It's like four days to to launch it, and we want to make sure this gets launched. Um, I think it's six days. Let's make sure this gets launched by. Um, well, in one day, the 23rd. Also, we just finished doing... Yeah, we have to make sure we also do a exalt scan on, I believe... Well, it's, we just finished doing it. That was the last thing we did. So, the 28th. Okay, we got a medium raider here. Um, and a full squadron of folks. Let's do... Um, let's do everybody. Let's send in everybody. Send in the whole, whole, whole crew, whole gang. Engaging bogey. Nearing strike. Now. Yep, that's the problem with sending in everybody. Nearing strike range. Tend to take minimal damage, but Closing you um, uh, you also obliterate the UFOs. Okay. Okay. Let's do the first satellite. Um, um, we're gonna put that out. We're gonna do a, a. We're gonna do a Japan attack. Hey, White Crow, how you doing? We're going to. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm setting up to do a base assault in Japan at the end of the month. So that's what we're doing here. Uh. Travel time, four days. So it's the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. So it'll be arriving on the 26th. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Satellite launched. Um, and then... Uh, and then what I think... Yeah, so... 27? You're doing good? Good to hear. Good to hear. How's that, uh, how's that saving up project you're doing for... Uh, um, uh, you know, for the thing. You're, we were talking about the other day. Yeah, you're saving up for a computer. I mean, it's only been a couple of days, and I know it's a, sort of a long-term project, but I hope that's... <laughs> hope that plan is still, uh, still viable. Okay, we got our... Third seven. And then we're going to launch this one over China. And then we'll have, if we successfully do this mission... We'll have all of China. You found some good art that was perfectly what you dream about, but the artist is no longer with us. Yeah, well, I mean, isn't that what they say? <laughs> like, art becomes more appreciated after after the artist passes. It's uh, it's like I don't know. That's it's sad though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's no longer with us. Was he good? We're I guess really he would. must be good now. if you liked him. Um, trust trying to decide. Yeah, let's uh. Okay, we'll have all of China uh, or all of Asia at the end of the month, and then and then things will be great after we do the uh, after we do the mission. And then, oh yeah, the reason why. Okay, yeah, I'll talk about the reason why I want to do all of Asia. So I had three satellites. I was planning on before the end of the month when I built the three satellites. I was just gonna get all of North America. Sorry, not North America. All of Asia and uh, and Africa. Africa? No, Africa's over here. All of Asia and Europe. Yeah. Um, but then I lost the satellite. And so the choice was, do I go for all of the country in Europe or all of the country in Asia? And the difference in choices was um, this middle one here. Wealth of Nations, 
So if I went for all of Europe, I'd get Wealth of Nations. Monthly EXCOM funding increased by 20%. Sounds pretty good. I'd love to see this monthly income be more than, uh, uh, or, yeah, not in the negatives. And the other one is uh, uh, New Foundry. Foundry projects have cash alloy and Illyrium costs reduced by 25%. And I was looking at the... Um, uh, the foundry projects that I really wanted to do in the near future, and they're all really expensive. And the amount of savings that I would get from having their costs reduced by 25% was greater than the amount that I would gain if I got if I just got 20% increase in uh, in in monthly monthly spending. So I decided that was the way to go. Um, it, it would amount to more money. Five unfinished stories. Oh, the project so far is going... Five unfinished stories. Okay, maybe I don't know what project you're working on. I was just talking about the project, or you said you were going to save up uh, save up money, your money for, for several months to, to get, like, a really, really badass computer. Um, and then you could play really badass games. That's uh, that, that was a project I thought you were going for. Okay. Commander, there's a priority one transmission coming in from the Council. Okay, the surviving exiled oper operative. Okay, so this is the surviving exiled operative that we picked up way at the beginning of the campaign. He was the guy who coughed a lot and said, Yeah, you're just a bunch of puppets. Yeah, I don't want to go with you. Oh, you got guns, though, so I have no choice. Anyway, we interrogated this guy way back in March, and now it's December, and now he's just like, Okay, I gave you the information. Clearly, Valen was not doing the interrogations for this guy. So, so some 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 other some other person w took on the role because Valen was like, "Well, is he human?" And we we're all like, "We think so." He's got these sideways blinking eyes, but we, other than that, we think he's human. And Valen was like, "Well, if he's just human, he's just got a human brain. Then I'm not interested." I, I, like my techniques won't work on them. My techniques only work on alien dissected brains, and so she wasn't interested. So someone else probably took on the project. It was some low-ranking official who, you know, probably just like took enough to McDonald's every day and said, "Hey, I'll give you a Big Mac if you tell us tell us what you know." And he's like, "I'll tell I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> give me more Mac. Give me more Big Macs. I don't know. I don't know where this story is going. Anyway, it's now December, and he's had his fill of Big Macs." And and he's finally decided that uh, that that he doesn't want to get cut off. That's what we threatened him with. We threatened to cut him off, and now he's uh, now he's telling us, yeah, a net a net incoming, a net incoming. So yeah, this is the mission where we're going to go get get a net. All right, Demeyer, good to see you. How you doing? Um, <laughs> humans are too easy. <laughs> they just got these human brains. I've seen a million human brains. Excellent. All we'll right. Look forward to seeing you. Hornex Zocker, welcome in. We're gonna, we're getting, we're going to get a net, although we don't know where that yet. Spoilers. It's a, it's, a, we're just, we're just. Actually, what was? I want, okay, hold on. I didn't even read the mission. Uh, let me read the mission. Okay, so I, I only got to the first sentence, and I started going into fan fiction. The surviving Exil operative has provided additional intel on the location of our missing transport vehicle. Our missing transport vi Wait, when did we lose a transport vehicle? When did that happen? And not a moment too soon. It appears the aliens have cornered the truck on a dam uh, in, in eastern France. If if they're going to recover the cargo, we'll need to act fast. Alright, so apparently apparently Bradford Bradford lost a transport, and or the council lost a transport, and didn't tell anyone. And and so and so suddenly we're, we're like, okay, we found it, but it's on a dam, and the dam's breaking because aliens keep shooting at it. So can you please go get our transport? And we're like, what transport? Oh, that guy we interrogated. He told us about a transport. Wait, the guy from March? All right, all right, all right let's go. So we're gonna go. We gotta go get the transport. All right. Ah, uh, here we go. You missed the, the last two streams, sadly. Say anything interesting happened? Yeah, man. Uh, I, uh, we 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 uh, we we killed the alien. We killed the Bradford. The Bradford is dead. We killed it. We're uh, we're not done with alien isolation yet, but we are done with the Bradford. The Bradford has been, uh, or at least we think we we we, we jettisoned them off into space. Um, and you know how these things go. If you don't see the alien die, then it's not actually dead. But that's that's the last we saw of it. We we yeah yeah the Bradford. We jettisoned them off into space. You missed it. It was exciting. And uh, um, there was betrayal, and there was there was drama, and and yeah, oh, and and oh, and oh, 
man, you know the two people we came with? Samuels and Taylor? And Taylor was super injured, and we were like, we gotta save Taylor! She's, she's, she's injured, and she's gonna die if we don't save her. And so, we did, and it turns out, she's the bad guy! And Samuels, by the way, turned out he was a synthetic, surprising nobody, but he was a good synthetic, and he sacrificed his life! And, and we're sad, because because he was trying to figure out why all the other androids on the space station have suddenly become more murderous than usual. And so... Now, is this a fanfic? No! This is all... This all happened! And you missed it! Okay, we're, uh... We're, we're, we, got, we gotta go, we gotta go get this. Okay. Um, uh, this seems like the kind of thing where we need, we need our best. So we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring Jen Kazum. Um, so, but not, not in the forward position. We got, we need a gunner in the forward position. Um. We have eight hours before, we don't have a gunner available. Oh, this was bad timing. Okay. Um. How many... How many, uh... Okay. Uh, our, our newest... Our, our latest gunner is going to be, uh... Um, uh, two days away. So we can't bring a gunner. Maybe we bring... We'll bring in, uh... Um, our, uh... Oh, wait. That's our wolfhound? Is that our... No, yeah, that's our... That's, um... We have a shiv. Right. Um... Sorry. I'm just super not into it, uh, out of it. I'm super out of it. I am into it. I'm out of it. Okay. Um, so maybe we bring in, um, we're gonna bring in Wolfhound, because I think you've automatically got a suppression, don't you? Yeah, you've automatically got suppression. So you can be our, uh, our suppressor, and... Um, yeah, so you're going to be our automatic suppressor. Um, you also have, well, if it, hmm. okay. What we don't have is a, um, we need someone up front to carry the, um, we need someone up front to carry the motion tracker. So we're going to bring Twitch up front. Twitch is going up front. Twitch has got close encounters, so Twitch is going to be, going to have a, a shotgun. Maybe we'll give her a laser scatter rifle, and then we'll give her that, and then we'll give her, um, just in case we, we can give her that too. Alright, just in case we can catch somebody. We're gonna bring a mech too. I want a mech. You always need a mech. So we've got Mina 20. Mina 20 is gonna come in with a mech. We're gonna give her the Valiant, we're gonna give her a railgun. We're gonna give her a proximity mine launcher. We're gonna give her the grenade launcher. Because she's just gonna lob grenades all over the place. We're gonna give her tactical sensors so she's extra hard to hit. And we're gonna give her core armoring so that she doesn't get critical hit by anybody. Alright. Now we're gonna bring in Jen Kazoom. Jen Kazoom is a brilliant sniper. So she's gonna get um you know what? No. Um we need her to take tower positions, so we're gonna give her the uh the banshee armor. And she's going to have um, a Gauss Long Rifle. Now, she's got Snapshot um, and Light Em Up. So she's got lots of shots that she could take. So I'm just going to give her... I'm going to give her... Um, and she's got Lock and Load. So if we give her a Scope and we give her High Cap Mags, she'll have four shots with that goddamn thing. So it's going to be amazing. She's going to she's gonna kick them all... Kick, kick, kick ass. Kick all their asses. Sanctuary. Two shots is not a shot... Two shots is not at a lot of shots. Four shots is a a decent amount of shots out of the uh, out of the ghosts. And that's how many shots she's gonna get. I promise you, it'll be it'll be a, a good amount of shots that she's gonna have. All right, we're gonna give we're gonna bring uh, Foucault and Foucault is gonna have the Gauss rifle and oh you've got okay and we're gonna give you it's got combat drugs which is pretty good pretty good yeah so 
she's going to have four shots because she has lock and load. Oh, uh, she has, uh, uh, how has a light em up <laughs> medic been working out for you? Um, eh, it's a, it's a meh ability on a medic, honestly. Um, it, it basically means because he's also got sentinel and, uh, and advanced fire control, he could take a shot and then go on overwatch. Um, honestly, I would have preferred if he had uh, got the, uh, what's it, ready for anything? Ready for anything would have been a better perk than light him up. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, is more than one? Um, uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, White Crow. So, um, yeah, no, um, Bright has four shots because she's got, uh, we've got ammo conservation, the, the foundry project, and she's got lock and load, and she's got high cap mags. So that's, each of those is going to give her an extra shot. So the, uh, so the, so the, the gun, and then, then of course the gun has one. So that's four shots that she has, she gets to, she gets to have. All right, Spitfire is going to come. And, um, we've got, do we have a Rocketeer? No, no Rocketeer. All right, we're going to bring, we're going to put, um, okay, we're going to bring, uh, Wolfhound. Also, we got to, uh, um, we have to customize, so it's going to be, the Wolfhound's name is Darla. Last name, Hero. Okay. Because those are, uh, those are pet names that, like, <laughs> pet names of people who have, who have soldiers. Uh, names of pets. That's, that's what the Wolfhound is named after. Um, okay. The, uh... Okay. Um, we got a lot of combat, we got a lot of smoke grenades on this mission, which is great. I love having smoke grenades. Um... Maybe we bring in another... We could bring in uh, an assault rhino. Yeah, let's bring in. Oh no, we, we um, an engineer actually would be pretty useful. Yeah, okay, we're gonna bring Duke Hippo as our engineer. Um, ten to warheads, heat warheads, cool. So we're gonna be blowing up all the machines. Um, we're gonna give you a, a laser rifle because your aim's not so good, but you're you're mostly here for the grenades anyway. Um, cool. All right. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. And then, do we bring an assault? Oh, we do we have a scout? Yeah, we have a scout. Do we bring an assault or a marauder? Um, I kind of feel like we do better with a marauder. I don't have two rail guns, unfortunately. I just have the one. But um, I'm gonna bring in the flamethrower, that, and the high cap mag. Oh, we don't have two core armorings. Why don't we have? Okay, if we don't have two. Oh, the other one's on the on the shiv. The other one's on the shiv. Um, that's why. Okay. We look forward to um, I should maybe build a third core armoring then. That's the case. Okay. Um, since we don't have a third core armoring, then we could lose the mech super easy. So I'm going to go with the assault instead of the uh, instead of the uh, the mech. Um, and I'd rather and I'd rather bring the shiv instead of a mech because the shiv is our only suppressor at the moment, I and mean, I want to make sure we carry a suppression. Um, you know what we don't have? We don't have, um, um, any grenades. Oh, and we've got concealment. All right, no, you're a perfect person to bring with us. All right, we're good. I think we're good. All right. Everyone got their gun? Everyone got their armor? Yeah. Yeah, we're all set. We're all set and ready to go. Um... We just have a lot of close range people. Um, for a map that might be better off without. Well, alright. It's. No, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Alright, let's um, see what we can do. Let's get in there. I think this will be okay.
France is sending an urgent mission request. All right. It was the day before Christmas. And all on the dam. All the water was flowing. That's it. That's all I got. I can't rhyme anything with damn. I don't know how. I don't know what rhymes with damn. Time to die. Hornick. Hornick. No. It looks like the transport came under attack while attempting to cross that dam. Judging from the damage, the aliens must have strafed the entire area trying to slow the truck down. If they want this thing that bad. Oh yeah, there's a time. This is a timed mission. Try and retrieve it. That dam is in bad shape, though. We'll need to move quickly if we're going to secure the truck before they do. I forgot this was a timed mission. Ah, all right. Let's um. That's affirmative. Okay. I'm rolling. Um. Yeah. Let's move you all the way up here. Um. It's reading right, man. Look, you're not reading it right. Ross Beef, welcome in. Welcome in. All right. I don't think anyone needs to steady. Uh, you can steady. I think everyone else can just, uh... Um, is this THE mission? Yes, this is THE mission. This is Mission Deluge. The, uh, the Council misplaced one of their transports and didn't tell anyone. And so we have to go and find... <laughs> yeah, they didn't tell anyone to the last minute. This was like from the, uh, interrogation from a guy we captured a, uh, a year ago. And finally they're like, yeah, there was a missing transport, by the way, and we didn't mention it till now. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's a thing. Let's, um... Do we have to get right here? Where can, where can we activate? Do we, have to, do we have to actually sit right there and do the... Well, that's a... That's bunk. Alright, so we just heard some, uh... Some, some dirty, nasty floaters. Um... Ooh, it's shaking. What a coincidence that we finished interrogation and just as the Scylab was done. Yes. That's a weird thing for it to be a trigger of, but it's, uh, uh, there it is. That's, that's, that's what it is. All right. That's, um... Uh, it's because Fred from Accounting was drafted into XCOM. Everything is backed up <laughs> for the backlog because because we lost we lost someone from Accounting. I, I forget their name. They're memorialized. Don't worry. I'm not a bad person. Um, who was it? Was it Trevor from Accounting? It must have been Trevor. No, it was Trevor the FedEx guy who's still alive. I forget who it was. Hugo from Accounting. Yeah, it was Hugo from Accounting. Ah, uh, the lore. All right, let's. Uh, Hugo is a cool name, yeah. All right, it's, um, think we're ready to go. All right. What? Looks like the aliens are bringing in reinforcements to go after the truck. Whoa! I don't remember that. I don't. This has been so long since I've done this mission. 
Oh yeah, it's not okay. Sorry, I was, it's teleports, right? There it is. Oof. Oh no, oh, white crow, are you? Am I, am I? Am I leaving you behind? I can. Uh, I can try. I can try and. Uh, oh wait, wait. What happened to the guy? He's just gone. <laughs> he got blasted into the river. I'm assuming he fell in the river and is not there anymore. Um, alright. Who's got a good shot on that guy? Um. Who is it? Just you, huh? You've got a 97? Huh. Well, um. We could take that. Yeah, you're the only one who has that shot, so why don't we, uh... Um... Yeah, we can take that shot. Look, my mechanized boy doing good. How many... How many oh, uh, your mechanized boy is, uh, is doing good. Um, I almost brought you along for this mission. Um, and I, uh... Um... I opted not to because I don't have enough core armorings and I don't have a good mech suit for you. So I figured you'd be too vulnerable to uh, to bring. So I uh, um, left you behind this time. But uh, next, we'll be bringing you on a mission real soon. We're setting up for an alien base assault, so uh, uh, there's probably a good chance. Uh, probably a good chance we'll be bringing you for that. I'm just thinking we should have started another uh, paladin suit, but. Um, okay, let's start um, moving people up, I guess. Alright, you can move there. Alright, let's move uh, Mina almost to the barrels. Right here. Okay. Okay, good, good, good stuff, good stuff. Bring you up here. Um, okay. I'm on the move. Yeah, your mechanized boy is doing great. Um, uh, pretty high ranking too, so yeah, no, we're, uh, doing good. Alright, Jen, can you make it up to there? Yes, you can. Oh, and there's a there's a thing here that we can um, um, tag as well, so we'll do that. That valve is running wide open, but we still need to secure the truck before it's too late. All right. And then I think everyone... Yeah. Do you have a... Um... Yeah, well, then we'll, we'll take you to the corner. There you go. There you go. All right, and everyone else can overwatch. Oh, hello! That was a big noise for a little guy. Oh, boy, okay. Okay, I I don't know who all died. So, okay, that sectoid's dead. There's a sectoid back here who's probably still alive. We have this mechanized guy who um, is going to be hard to take out. 
Jen doesn't have a shot on, on the mectoid, which sucks. Okay. Um, uh, just got an ad on w Wicked Rift. Just got an ad of Wicked Rift. Well, like on my channel, there shouldn't be ads on my... I mean, there's uh, there's pre-roll ads, which I don't think I can turn off. But I don't think there should be any, um, any ads that... Uh, yeah. Uh, Wild Rift, the mobile game. Okay. Huh. Alright. Let's see who can get over there. Um, we have a shiv that can get up here. But we need to... Um, okay. Okay. The shiv can come up here and can suppress them if need be. Okay. I was worried that would happen. Alright, so we've got more problems than I wanted. Shit and crap. Okay. Um, I think Jen can take out the, uh, the chrysalid easily enough. Nicely done. And then one more, please. Well, um, we'll save that. So, we can suppress the, uh, we, we can, we can suppress the mectoid and then we'll be free to move around its suppression. But the, uh, we, we, we know for a fact that the, uh, the floaters are going to come and, and start wailing on on Darla Hero real soon. So that's um, um, that's unfortunate, but it's uh, it is what it is. All right, so we're going to we're going to do this to mitigate his uh, the mectoids mectoids ability to respond here. Um now we've got a lot of heat abilities that we can bring up. Um, I'm inclined to move... Um, we'll move Mina up here. Can you get a... Can you get a grenade over all of this stuff on top of it? Um, absolutely. Okay, yeah. Right. Not a problem. Okay, so maybe we'll move you up here. And we'll hunker you down. Yeah. Okay, and then we can still blow this up with a with a heat grenade. Good. Um we're gonna move Axel up here, and we're going to... We've got another heat grenade we can throw at the mech. Okay. Um, Spitfire is going to come up here. Um, Um, you can come up here and take a shot, or maybe you stay there and go in Overwatch. Hard to say. Um, actually, yeah, no, you're going to come down here, and um, we could probably nail you with a, a chem grenade to... I don't think we need it, need the chem grenade. Let's just, um... Yeah, let's just do two, two blasts with the alloy cannon and just see what we can do. Um, but before we do that, let's start hitting it with all the uh, all the heat grenades that we've got. Um, all right, Axel. Um, yeah, nail it with that. Nice hit. 
Um, you are going to take this second shot. Make sure the chrysalid is down for the count. We're going to go and do a double blast with the rapid fire alloy cannon. Nope, 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 not that time. There we go. Nice. All right. Okay, we're going to uh, hit it with the uh, hit it with the heat. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Um, and it's still alive, huh? All right. Why? Okay, it is being suppressed. Okay. So if we come up here, we've got two legal shots, and then we can run away. Um, or I can shoot it right back here with two legal shots. Uh, with with three legal shots actually, and that's my uh, that's my ammo clip anyway. So nice one. Two. Oof, I don't think we're going to take it down. And... Three. Okay. Um, who do we have left? Um... So I think the thing to do with you is... We're gonna throw down some uh, some smoke grenades. Those heavy floaters are gonna be rolling in in two seconds. Um, I think we're gonna roll back with you and um, reload. Yeah, we're going to roll back here and reload. Ready to engage. Um, I don't think we need another smoker. I think we're going to bring you up here and then we'll um we'll uh nail him with a with a We could I could command you to take another shot. Yeah, we will do that. Oh, good, and that's working. Okay, I did a thing where uh, um, uh, command doesn't take an action anymore. All right, Mechdoid is down. And we'll uh, put you on Overwatch. I just remembered that we've got a sectoid on our flank that is, uh... Well, that's a Warmaster heavy, uh, heavy floater. Okay. Okay. More chrysalids incoming. Don't know what those are. And you're here. And... Ah! Forgot about you. Okay. Spitfire's got a hit and run shot. We're going to take that immediately. Okay. Okay. Spitfire has a legal shot and two legal shots. I see no reason not to just unload on these guys. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Missed on 97. Okay. Okay. Um... We can dispatch this uh, 
sectoid really easily with uh, with uh, with Twitch. And I think that's your move. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. What's left on the battlefield? We've got um, one chrysalid, one sectoid, four heavy floaters. I did not realize there were four of them. That is a big yikes. Okay. Um, can Mina get a mine all the way out here? Yep, that would work nicely. So we can do that. Um, and then see if we can get a grenade to detonate those mines. So what is uh, Duke Hippo's position? Okay, Duke Hippo. How far can you get a grenade? Um, Hudless one, how you doing? We are, uh, um, we're doing a, we're doing a council mission, and we are trying to deal with these uh, heavy floaters. Okay, um, all right, so we can set up a mine, and if you can come down here and take that position there, it's not a perfect position, but it will. Um, hopefully do the job. Can you get a grenade out there? Not quite. Not quite. But you can get a... See, I, I don't I don't know if these will actually set off the uh, um, mine, but this will. It won't do as much damage as the alien grenade. Oh, it won't even hit the flying guy. Um, but it probably will set off the mine. Hey, Hudless, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the lurk. And, dude, thanks for the bits. I really appreciate it. That's, uh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, I guess you're suppressed, but you don't have, a, you don't have ammo to do suppression. Um, okay, so you are going to... I'm going to do your... We're going to do your shot. Oh, do you have... Um, oh, you don't have light em up. So we're just going to do a mine. We're just going to do a mine shot. Gonna do a mine shot here. That'll do. Cool. Now let's see if we can detonate that mine. Um. Oh, that'll get both of them. Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah, do that. Nicely done. Oof, that was a lot of damage. Big damage. Okay. Jen's got two shots. Let's go for the flanked guy and see if we can take this guy down. Ooh, almost. Ooh, that'd be a nice cap if we could uh, swing it. All right, what about... Uh, no, let's not do it for the chrysalid. What if we went for the guy in the air? He's only got five hit points. Um, which is fine enough. Let's... Um, it'd almost be better to reload if we have the chance. So let's see if we can take out those floaters with something else. If you have... Um, you have enough? Okay, why don't you take air? Uh, oh, I'd rather reload with you as well. Okay. Um, don't have a lot of options here. Okay, let's bring you up here. Um. Yeah, let's go for the uh, let's go for the shot. Okay. Um, that uh, a crystal needs to die. We could bring you down here, and that might 
result in an activation, and that would be terrible. Terrible. So let's... Uh, oh, we still have to grab this thing. Um, so why don't we do that and not worry about the... Uh, All right, that was a good use. So we've got your shot. Okay, let's go for the. Uh, let's go for the chrysalid. Good, good stuff. Okay, um, let's see if we can cap this guy. No dice. We gotta launch. Okay, still suppressing the shiv. Sectoid coming in. Suppresses Duke Hippo. Yeah, I think we can deal with that guy in the back pretty easily. Um, but we still have four he four heavy floaters and one sectoid. Um, well, this guy's easy enough to t take out. Let's let's take out this guy. I was worried for a second. Oh. Um, hmm. 42% chance to cap. Do we have an alternative? We don't. Um, oh, you have lock and load, so you can reload and shoot. Amazing. Alright, let's see if we can take this guy out. Nicely done. Okay, we do have an alternative. Okay, so if we fail in our capture attempt, um, then Rhino can run in with the uh, with the clutch with the with the clutch blast and uh, and take him out. Um, so we, uh, we we've got that move set up. So why don't we do that? Let's go for the uh, let's go for the uh, the stun. Down he goes. You're coming home. Amazing. All right. Okay, sectoid is. All right, let's uh. Yeah, let's just go after this guy. All right, Spitfire takes him out. How are we doing? We're doing good. We're doing real good. All right, let's uh. Let's take a moment to reload and. Sort ourselves out. We still have two active, um, two active floaters. Um, that makes me super nervous. So let's. Um, how are we going to set ourselves up? Uh, we're gonna bring you up here. Probably be okay. Um, stunning feels un unreasonably good. It <laughs> not that unreasonable, man. <laughs> I would love to uh, shove a, a, a shove a taser in these guys' mouths and pull the trigger. That would be extremely satisfying. <laughs> Watching them just sort of jiggle for a moment and then go down. I'm into it. Um, all right, what do we got? Let's let's throw down another smoke grenade and maybe set it up so that we can advance a little bit if we need to. Like, uh, so that we could maybe take those positions up front. If we want to. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or we could go do it all the way up there and take the position behind the car. Um, I think that'd be alright. If those guys just... No, let's, uh, make sure... Yeah, let's cover, uh, let's cover everyone who is gonna be, uh, affected. And we can still move up to those half-cover places. Alright, let's, uh... Uh, it's got to be there. It's got yeah. That's got to be how it works. All right, let's do that. And then 
A new pet whore master. Oh, he was a war master, wasn't he? Heck yeah. Alright, and, um... Let's put you on over... No, you're not... Oh, well... Yeah, we'll reload. And you kind of just have to hunker down. You can't do anything. All right, we're good. White Crow, thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a good sleep. As always, it's always good to see you. I'm glad you're back, by the way. All right. Second, second, uh, or that's a third. That's the third guy. All right, Jen, give him a welcome bullet. Nicely done. Um, I'm down for another. Give him another. Oof. All right, these things happen. All right. Um, I think we just uh, shoot him, and because uh, there's still a third one. I mean, a fourth one out there. So we're just gonna. I'm just going to take these shots. Oh, nice! Spitfire is just winning tonight! Can you- can you just- can you just finish him off? Oh! Alright, that was beautiful. Alright, we need to get you somewhere where you can get, um... Get all healed up and, uh, and stuff. So I'm going to send you back here. We're going to hunker you down, because you took a bad hit from a sectoid, no less. Embarrassing. I mean, getting lots of kills, but man, that sectoid. Um, I think we should... Can you make it down there? I think maybe you might. But let's... Um, I'm going to bring you back here. You're going to hunker down. Can you make it down behind the... No, you can't. No, you can't. All right. So we'll uh, overwatch from there. And you will... Can you make it behind the, the shiv? No, all right. One more floater. Oh, and we're running... Oh, I, I, I just remembered we are on a timer. We are on the clock. So we have to, uh, we have to, uh, start moving up. We have to start moving up. Um, probably gonna move up with Mina 20, um, and just tank the, uh, we'll just tank the thing if, uh, um, Twitch, you're going to come up here. Foucault's gonna give the, uh, the heal. Alright, and and then Twitch, I need you to Alright, let's see if we can um Okay, we're going We're gonna come up here. No sign of the guy. Huh. All right. I guess you could come up there and you'd be out pretty out of sight. So that's going to completely remove Duke Hippo from, from sight. I wish if you stacked a half cover shiv on top of a half cover ledge that it becomes a full cover. That would be that'd be pretty cool. I would like that. I, that would be a thing that I would I, I would I would be okay with happening. For now, we're going to move you up here.
We're gonna reload. And then steady. Um, don't see a lot of options for you. I guess we could move you down here. And um, if we did that... Oh yeah, you've got concealment. I should be making a lot better use of that. Okay, good stuff. And then... Yeah, not a lot of places you can get to, so unfortunately you're going to have to hang back. Alright, and you can overwatch, like the king overwatcher that you are. Um, we're going to reload your weapon. Um, Mina, you have to just sit tight and not do anything. Uh, in a game where half cover, full cover square is half cover and a lot of squares are bugged, it will never happen. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have, I'll have some modder do it. I'll, I'll... I'm really good at, uh, <laughs> cracking the whip on mods, making them do what, do my bidding. I can get anything done in this game. Um, alright, what, what are we gonna do? Let's, um... Yeah, let's move... I wonder if... Can Mina do the, uh... Can spin the wheel? I don't know if she can or not. Can If Mex can spin the wheel. That's a really interesting question. I know that they can get melts, so they should be able to do this. That should be a thing they should be able to do. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, there we go. No problem. Should add two turns. Alright. It does indeed. Um, unfortunately that, uh, you, you, you ran up a little too far. Uh, Mina, we can't get to you, we can't get to your cover. Um, um, t -t -t update this game, fix the <laughs> update this game, fix the bugs, and I'll buy at full price. <laughs> yeah, I would too! I totally would! <laughs> Also, I'm disappointed the level of profanity is abysmal slow. The, the, the Adder of the Cobb... The, the Adder of the Cobb Clan. I like the sound of that. I don't know what you mean by it, but I like the sound of it. Can we get you up to any other cool spots? I don't see any cool spots. Um, I suppose if we hunkered you down... No reason to hunker you down. No reason to hunker you down. Let's, um... Yeah, there is a reason to hunker you down. If we start setting up... Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to hunker you down. Okay, um... Spitfire's going to come up here and take that cover. Okay, um... Darla Hero's going to come up... Um... Here... I'm working on it. I, I have ideas for that, and I want to do that, but it's, uh, um, yeah, not a thing that I have immediately, but it's coming. It's coming. All right, we've got so many people in half cover right now that I do not feel comfortable with the, uh, um, um, yeah, with the, the people's vulnerability here. So we're going to... up here um, and since we have it let's use it can I get can I sit it on top of this thing or is it gonna sink in and give me no view um, let's not chance it let's uh, let's send it right here uh, mectoids have not dropped in we've had two mutons and two sectoids drop in oh I wish I had a rocket Oh, there you are. What are you doing up there? Okay. Um, okay, we're going to hunker you down. As tempting as that is, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to take this guy out. It's, uh, it, 
because he is active. Uh, not, a, not amazing. Okay, um, sure, go for it. Um, not much you can do, so probably leave you there. Um, we got l so much smoke that we don't even have to worry. So let's, um, I love it. I love it. Everyone's in the cloud. Good. Nothing for you. You can overwatch, and uh, that's it. Get ready, strike one. Hostiles are moving in your current position. That's a lot of heavy floaters. Damn. Okay, mechdoid on the roof. Sectoid in behind. Second sectoid. Is that it? Is that it? I don't I do not have control back. Fascinating. Cool. Amazing. Giving it ten more seconds. Then I'm doing a re uh, a restart. Not a restart a level, just tapping out. All right. Let's, um... I toyed with a height advantage. Well, I think they'll probably have another tur uh, another chance to uh, uh, land their guys in, but uh, um, hopefully we'll get the same result. I am nervous about the amount of time that I have and those five floaters that we... Uh, we saw that haven't activated yet. Five heavy floaters. That's going to be hard. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um. Hmm. Why are you like that? Why can't you move up and take that position the way you did before? Oh, it's because you can't hop up weird. Okay. Huh. I don't remember that being an issue for you before. Night Valian? Uh, where, where, where were I winning? Were, um, I, I was. And I, I, well... It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um... We're going to give you the thing, all right? And the shiv will somehow turn the wheel with its little little extendable robot manipulator arm, which all shivs have, by the way. Um, I decided that that's a thing they have. Yes, I copy. <laughs> Where of winning. There's only keeping... Yeah, this is a better setup than I had before. Um, Moving. Okay, we're going to move you up here. 
Uh, how does the shiv turn the valve? Yeah, no, it's got a... It, see, the shiv has a tiny little manipulator arm concealed within its casing, and it just reaches out and, and turns it. Either that, or it carefully aims its gun and shoots at the valve at precisely the right angle and uh, and spins it that way with the sheer force of its uh, its bullets. Um, it's one or the other. Um, probably, you know, probably is shooting. If, uh, if That seems reasonable. And welcome in, Master 1040. Um, okay, and then we'll bring you up here. I'm gonna, I want to do the same thing. The hand theory, because you don't lose ammo when you turn the valve. Um, I suppose... The hand theory just seems a little contrived because there's no, uh, the, I mean, I'm clearly making it up. Um, and it's like, we've never seen a hand extend from a, val uh, a shiv before. Um, it does sort of make sense that they have one, though, because uh, shivs have been known to do other things, collect meld and, um... Alright. So, we're going to put you on Overwatch. Um... You kick Pippo, you're gonna go on Overwatch. We are still going to try and shoot this guy. Because he is active. That's a much better shot than before. And one more. Nicely done. That's a much better shot than um alright. We will Hunker down with you. Um, we still have to hunker d um, do that. I'd love to put you on Overwatch, but Spitfire needs the uh, needs the uh, thing. Okay. Oh, it's two pods of heavy. It's still six heavy floaters. Jen! Oh boy! <laughs> Watch out! It's on the roof! Um, some people want to know where the hands are stored. That's fine. I want to know where they got the hands. <laughs> Whose hands are these? <laughs> it's the, uh... The, it's the hands of every single floater that we, uh... We, we kill, we chop them off, and strap the limbs to the, uh, strap the limbs to the, the shiv. Most of them are decorative, they don't even do anything. <laughs> Truly, though, the shiv is the most powerful unit. Able to, uh, requisition spare body parts that it comes across. Okay, so we have a uh, um, an unfortunate sectoid directly above Jen. Um, we've got a sectoid here. We've got a sectoid here. They're all on Overwatch, and we've got a sectoid there. Did a mectoid not fall? Oh no, there's a mectoid. Okay, so we've got a um, a mectoid. Oh, and those guys. Where's the mectoid? There it is. This seems like the best thing for for Jen to start firing, because um, Jen could probably kill it with just just two good shots of the uh, the Gauss. Um, uh, four PF cyanide. What's your answer to the trolley dilemma as a philosophy major? Um, the uh, the trolley problem isn't um, intended to have an answer. It's meant to propose the sort of uh, well. I mean, it's meant to propose a. a, a problem that's testing your uh, uh, testing your ethics um, so like if you're a utilitarian of course you'll just sort of look at the numbers and uh, um, and, and and go that way if you're a, um, if you're a virtue ethicist or or a, um, a Kantian or a uh, then then you'll see the way the trolley problem was originally worded is doing nothing causes five people to get killed while doing something causes someone to kill. Uh, so this causes one person to die. So the Kantian would say, well, 
I can't pull the lever even if it would five uh, even if, even if five people would die because that would mean that by my action I would cause the result of one person to die. So that's uh, um, that's kind of what the the trolley problem is meant to sort of uh, point out. That um, and then I think there was oh who was the other guy who was trying to criticize utilitarianism by, I don't know, kind of just blundering into another problem that I think utilitarians have perfect answers for. Um, I'm trying to remember his name, but it, he, he had this thing about, like, uh, you know, would you, uh, 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 would you, would you, oh, it was really, it was a really weird scenario of, uh, you know, you're visiting a, a country where there's a war and the commander invites you as his honored guest. And as a, as his honored guest, he offers you a pistol so he can, sh so that you can personally shoot 10 freedom fighters. And, and you're like, oh, it's a, um, let's hold on. What's, what's going on here? Um, Sa Sanctuary, why are you swearing in my chat? No, I don't know. You can swear in my chat. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's my, uh, um, that's why I spiel about the trolley problem. There's lots of other really weird variations of the trolley problem, like, um, that, uh, kind of make, uh... Sorry, I'm just trying to sort this out in my head. Um, it's like, um, oh, right, the, uh, the surgeon problem, like, it, which is conceptually identical to the trolley problem, but, like, if you were a surgeon and you had five people who uh five people who needed organs transplants or they would die and you had one healthy person who just came in for a routine checkup if you're the kind of person who would pull the lever and sacrifice one person to to uh, uh, kill five people should you not use that same ethical practice and model to say well I should just kill this one person who's perfectly healthy and and force them to give them up their organs to to save the other five people. And when you frame it like that, like most people who would say, yeah, of course I would pull a lever and save five people, would hesitate with a surgeon one. Like, no, I wouldn't harvest organs from from one person, if, even if it would save five other people. It's uh, it's it, it, it's it, it's an interesting kind of twist on it that I. That's. Anyway, back to the game. Oh wait, you said something. Uh, if I was given a gun and were given the choice to shoot your mother or five criminals, what would you choose? See, okay, see now you're adding something else into it. You're adding sort of personal attachment into it, and and or you know and or or you know people within my sort of social proximity. And I could I could come up with all kinds of ethical justifications to say, no, of course I would not shoot my mother. I owe a lot more to my mother just socially than I would five strangers, um, uh, or regardless of whether they were criminals or not. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, like, like you're 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 adding a lot in there that uh, that um, kind of changes the uh, the thing. Um, in the way that the surgeon problem doesn't really uh, change it, but um, I'm sorry, I got to shoot this mechdoid twice. <laughs> Just obviously shoot my. <laughs> okay, this mechdoid's going down. Um, yeah, that was one shot. We did 17 points of damage. Do it again, Jen. Also. For PS Cyanide, I really appreciate your questions. Thank you. Um, obviously, you shoot the person who gave you the gun. Obviously, <laughs> what kind of psychopath would give me a gun? Oh my god! All right, what do we got? Um, so we got a dead sectoid. Um, we've got a sectoid up here who needs to die. So where? Yeah. All right. Um, so Fuko. Fuko's our medic, by the way. He is not a. He's not. He's not sitting in his office writing about how everything is like a prison. Fuko's our medic. Uh, all right, and he's also he's also really good with a gun. Um, so you're going to shoot this uh, uh, shoot this guy in behind us. Um, okay. What if I? Um, what if? What if I were in a Saw movie? Um, okay. You'll have to say more, but I think I, I I know where you're going with that. But again, you're bringing a lot in a lot of other things into it. Like now, are you saying that should I subject myself to torture to save somebody? Um, that's uh, that's a lot. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to use Fuko's second shot. Um, can anyone shoot that uh, that sectoid? Oh boy, the sectoid has us in his sights. 
Um, interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, well, what do we have active? Uh, a mectoid. Another mectoid. Where's the other mectoid? Holy crap, there's another mectoid? Where'd the other mectoid land? I did not see another mectoid land. I am freaked out. Where is the other mectoid? He didn't land in back here, did he? Oh my god, where's that other mectoid? Um, your prophet's making me learn Kant's critique of practical... Uh, uh, critique of pure reason? Uh, I know Kant's critique of pure reason. And that is not an easy paper to read. Uh, it's very obscure. Um, or, or, sorry, yeah, it's it's not obscure. It's it's a very popular one. But it's... it's Kant writes like an asshole. It's... Uh, he... Uh, I don't know. He's... Uh, um, yeah, he doesn't write in a way that's very easy to uh, to grasp. Um, what year are you in for, for philosophy, uh, Cyanide? Okay. Um, we can't even run you up here in a way that's easy. Um, maybe we could get Twitch to come up here and, uh, and have a better shot. That might be what we do. Um... But you don't even have a line of sight from there. Hold on. Oh my god. Where do you have a line of sight? You have a line of sight here. Okay. Might have to put you there, though. You're in first here. Okay. Um, um, reading Kant's Critique of Pure Reason is a really awkward first-year paper to read. Um, I, all I can say is just take it slow and... Uh, um, I don't know. Do your best. I... I don't know. It's. I don't even like Khan very much, so it's. I don't think this is going to help you very much, um, in just in terms of. All right, well, let's give it a try. Of course, you have to dodge. Um, the mighty pot upon. How you doing? Um. Mighty Potapon, oh, I saw you in Rossby Street the other day, and you, you came in and you went, oh, look, a long war streamer, and I'm looking around, and every single person, there was, oh, who was in there? Ghost Wizards was in there, Static Dragon was in there, everyone, everyone that I know who streams long war is in there, and I'm just like, buddy, you just hit the mother load. I remember you. Um, yeah, no, good to see you. Let's, let's, um, let's kill a sectoid at a distance with a shotgun. Nice shot! All right. Uh, I prefer the pretentious use of Latin of medical terminology. Also, hello. Caught your stream up. And on. <laughs> Mighty Potapon, thanks for the follow. Um, all right. So we have taken care of a uh, in, in a very lengthy amount of time. We've taken care of a uh, um, a mectoid and one obnoxious sectoid. Uh, philosophy is kind of boring. You thought it would be a lot more entertaining. I'm really sorry to hear that. Like there is. A lot of ways in which you can teach philosophy that is really boring and um, I don't know when I first got in my first year of philosophy um, I had a very inspiring prof and like he it basically got me into it and would just bring up all these cr you know it, it, for his lessons he would because we were we would study mostly the uh, the basics of logic and fallacies and the, you know the structure of arguments and we did a lot of sort of uh, critical thinking exercises and just a lot of discussions and it was just really really fun um, so I'm sorry it's it's boring for you it's uh, it, it's not usually or it doesn't have to be and I'm sorry that it is that way um, yeah, he, he just grades assignments in Giz lackluster lectures that is that is very disappointing. I would love to be a philosophy professor one day and it sounds like your philosophy professor just doesn't love his job enough and I think he should find another job. If he can't make philosophy fun, if he's just not into it, man, that is the worst. I hate that. Okay, we have a... Uh, um, I think we're out of the... Cr well, okay. We kind of still need to advance, and we need to advance and not um, activate these guys. So that's what I've decided I'm going to do right now. Um, we still... Oh, three turns. Three turns to get... There it is up there, and where's the next one? Okay, we're not doing good. This is not good. Um, we're not doing good at this mission. Um, okay, 
this is the line that we can go up to that where we won't activate the floater pods. So let's see if we can also let's um let's get Rhino to do it because Rhino's got lightning reflexes and can uh, um yeah do things. Um, I did English Lit too, yep. Um, I did Psychology, and, um, yeah, and then I, uh, and then I got my, uh, Masters of Philosophy, um, a couple years ago. Um, yeah. With a focus on, uh, language and logic and, uh, I don't know, smattering of other things. Okay, um, let's start... It looks like we can come up here and blast that sectoid, but I don't want to do it with you. I'd rather come up here and we'll, uh... Yeah, okay. We'll come up here. Um, we'll get, uh, Mina to come up here. Right next to you. Um, have I read the Hebrew Bible Genesis? I have not. Um, yeah, religious uh, uh, religious philosophy or, or philosophy of religion was never something that got uh, that I was particularly interested in. But uh, tell me about it. What's on your mind? Um, that'll ruin it. Yeah. D Meyer, I assume you're just talking about like a philosopher who doesn't care. Yeah. That, yeah. Absolutely. That'll ruin anything. Okay, let's, um, we're gonna bring Spitfire up here. Um, and why don't you... Oh, you can see that guy? Huh. Okay, let's, um... Let's try and take care of this guy. Uh, the answer is four. Okay. Um, good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, four is a good number, so it doesn't at all surprise me that that is the answer. Um... All right, let's bring, um, I guess you're just going to, we might need you to command someone to, oh, you only have one more command. How we, how do you only have one more command? I'm suspicious of that. Oh, and you have another shot? Oh, because it was a, uh, no, you don't have another shot. Oh, darn. Um. Okay, but you can't shoot. Um, if we moved you up here... Okay. I think we have to hunker you down and hope for the best. Wow, Rhino, you have... You have 11 hit points? How do you have 11 hit points? That is an amazing amount of hit points. Um, but that's, uh, let's bring you back here. Um, the answer is, uh, well, yeah, that's, uh, that is, of course, the, uh, uh, Douglas Adams perspective. All right, let's, uh, let's suppress this guy. And I guess we'll put you on Overwatch. And you can't do anything. Um, we need to bring you up closer. That'll work. And you can't do anything. Oh, there's the mectoid. Hiding over there, I see ya. All right. I do not know how we're going to... Yeah, we have to start eliminating... Um, we need someone to get down to that valve immediately. And that's going to activate these guys, and I hate that. Um, I hate this mectoid is running away. Oh, this is so terrible. Um, so we need to make sure that we have someone who can probably... It probably has to be... Um, Okay, we're going to use these buildings as cover to uh, uh, not activate the pods of, of people. Um, um, need more time. God, doing this with heavy floaters is not... Yeah, no, this is... Uh, 
This is the worst day ever. This is the worst day of my life. All right, let's um, um, might save that shot. Okay. All right, so if you can make it there, then why don't we have Mina run up there and you can hunker down. That would work. That's don't activate anything. Ooh, that came close to activating all kinds of bad things. Um, I think we're, I don't, yeah. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have run you down there. Um, this should be okay. Yes. Okay. Um, you are still going to hunker down. Um, four is you divided by one. Oof. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I understand. Uh, yeah, and sorry. Uh, in case anyone was unclear, I do understand the reference to forty-two. Um, that is, that's that's within my knowledge set. What is active? Uh, three sectoids, one mectoid, one heavy floater. Okay. Um, that's a lot of sectoids. Um, so we can't even go there because that will activate all the, uh, all the, all the, uh, all the guys as well. Um, this should be fine. Oh yeah, you've got, you've got the concealment. Excellent. I forgot about that. In that case, we should have, uh, done some other things. Um, gonna have to move you. Yeah, alright, that'll work. That'll work. And then we reload, I guess? Okay. And then that might activate things if we put you there. That also might activate things if we put you there. But we are going to need you up front, um, because we need your grenades. Um, that is tricky. I think this will be fine. I hope it'll be fine. The thing is, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. All right, we're 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 kind of okay, I think. Um, Foucault has to start catching up. And Twitch, what are you going to do? Um, we could bring you up here, and I think that would be okay. Well, that's a risk. This line here that's faint and you can see it, that's the sight range of the other floaters that we have to not activate, and it's partially past it. So will you be able to uh, see? Yeah, that's a um, that's a question I hate. Uh, so we're going to put you over here. Um, um, we're going to get you to reload. Uh, fixed bayonets, floaters climb to story. What? What is going on here? What do we got? Um, oh, we've got a sectoid on the roof. I forgot that guy. Um, we got a sectoid here, and we got this guy. All right, let's. Um, a sectoid on the roof kind of has to go, I think. Um, or we just wail on this guy. Maybe we. May, yeah. No. Let's. Uh, let's. Let's take out these sectoids, uh, especially this guy. He's too close to us. He can do. Uh, ooh. All right. Well, maybe we can. No, nope, we can't bag him. We don't have any. Uh... Um, Jen, did you not have a second shot? That's a shame. We're going to hunker you down. Um, you can't do anything. And yeah, let's. Um... We might need you to throw down a second smoke grenade. Just yeah, we're gonna do this. This should be all right, because then we can we can start setting up for. Ooh, what if we did this, and then we have that car and stuff over there that we can start to, we could use next round. Um, but we also had this high cover here. Yeah, let's uh let's let's set this up so that we have all this all this heavy cover here on the two sides. That will really max things out for us. I think that'll be good. All right, let's do that.
Okay, and uh, you can't do anything. I know, we got one turn to get that. This is gonna hurt. Okay, floaters are active. And in our faces. You're running away, interesting move. I'm not trying to say that, but I'm running out of time. I know! I know, Steve, the time! The t <laughs> We're standing on a dam that's gonna wash us all out. Uh, that's not ideal. Who is that? That's just a... Oh, that's a psychotic sectoid running at us. Um, floaters in the smoke. Oh, damn, you're right. One of them is, anyway. Okay. Um, okay. If we're going to grab... A valve. Um, oh, we're so far away from that transport, too. That's not even all the floaters. Like, we only activated three of the heavy floater, four of the heavy floaters. So there's two other heavy floaters? Um, that's, that's the long and the short of it. We are in a... Like, this is too much. This is way too much. Alright, so... Um, One move we can do is, um, uh, I am boned, yeah. It's a rough situation. Okay. I think we need to activate all the other floaters, um, if they're around. I don't know where the other three are, or the other two. Um... So you could send Mina up here with a cover point. No, that's a bad. I, that's a bad place. Um, see, I want better eyes on the place than, than what I have. Uh, and you are. We could get the valve if we uh, if we command someone. We can get the. So one way we could do with the valve is. Run and gun you up here. Run and gun, you can still use a valve and have a shiv come down here for protection. That won't protect any protect them from this side. Yeah, actually, the shiv here would be better. Um, that would be a better place for the shiv. Okay, uh, might want to rush a valve and then the hot truck. Yeah. Interesting. If I rush the truck, does the mission end if I just make it to the last, uh, the last thing? I think I've seen that happen. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting thought. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, it does. Okay. Huh. Well, Rhino's got a lot, of, uh, or Twitch has a decent amount of hit points, is a really fast runner. Um, so what if we had Twitch come down here, hit the flag, Foucault commands Twitch to do another run and try to make it somewhere safe. That might even be... Uh, you don't even need an, a an action. Oh, wow. Yeah, all right. Um, cool. Well, let's see what happens. Um, in any case, we need... Um, we need Rhino to come up here. Uh, sorry, uh, Snacks to come up here. Yeah, all right. Oh, shit. Mina, duck. Oh, no! That was a bad hit on Mina. Yeah, that was tough. Okay. Alright. What is the most amount that we can do for damage? Um, so this is a, a grenade with ten of more heads. Um, and heat ammo. So it would almost be better to get the uh, mectoid in it. Um, so that would be ideal right there. Because um, that grabs the mectoid and two of the heavy floaters. Um, okay. I'm not going to do it right now. 
but um, it's it's a plan. It's a plan. Um, Jen, who do you see? You got like hundred percent on everybody. This, hold on, hold on. Am I reading this right? Is this Sectoid the one providing the shield for him? Well, you gotta go. You gotta die, my friend. Um, fascinating move. Okay. All right. Um, fascinating move. Who's gonna do the honors there? I think we decided the only one who can get the... Uh, the uh, valve here is Rhino, and if he does a, um, and then the Shiv has to come down and, and back him up. So we're gonna do that. don't have a lot of great, um, however, we have um, other options. All right. Now, unfortunately, the Shiv is just going to have to book it down here and give, uh, unless, of course, uh, Foucault gives a command. But let's... Um, okay. Who else we got? Okay, Spitfire. I was thinking Spitfire could come up here behind Mina and uh, take the hot take the cover. I don't see a shield, but I'm assuming there's there's cover there. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Um, but huh? I think I might have accidentally given. Uh, um, Uh, get, I, I've accidentally given the sectoid uh, full cover. That's annoying. Um, that was a uh, that was a bad move. Bad move. Bad move on my part. Um, I think it'll be fine. We're gonna move um, uh, Spitfire up here. And it's gonna take a point blank shot on the uh, on the sectoid and. Uh, for the best, I guess. Um, oh wait, you've got um, you've got hit and run. All right, um, we are going to hit and run bug this because I'm desperate and a, a dirty, filthy cheater. Oh, that was the end of uh, that was the end of the. Uh... Oh, you know what? Um, I don't. I, the hit no, the hit and run bug has been working so far. So I don't know why. Spitfire suddenly doesn't have it anymore. Interesting. Interesting, uh... Interesting thing with that. Okay. Where... Why do you not have... Um... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay! Shield is down. Um... Can you command anyone to fire again? Just you, huh? Okay, so you have to get closer before you command anyone. Okay, we have some people that we can shoot. So one of the things I was thinking is an alternative to the If we blast, um, if we blast this, send the mine down here. If we send the mine down there. That might, um, that will blow up enough of the cover of the truck that uh, we can annihilate that heavy floater over there. That might be good. That might be a good thing to do. Can we um, scrape it so that we 
Okay, it doesn't look that way. So that's one thing we can do, or we can go for the three and the, with the mectoid over there. Um, that's a tough decision. Okay, what about Duke Hippo? Um, Duke Hippo with your uh, your amazing grenades. What can you do? Okay, let's bring you up here. Why don't you have cover? Um, you absolutely should have cover there. I don't understand why you don't have the cover from... Um, and if we don't... Okay. We're going to do a little bit of a... Uh, I just teleported him to the cover, which is two squares away. I don't know if he was allowed to make it there or not, but it is what it is, folks. Let's see if we can... Uh... Okay, I think... Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna have uh, Mina do the mine here with the and get those three with the mectoid. Okay, and then Duke Hippo is going to send this grenade. In such a way that it, um, I think it'll kill, or, or rather hit, four people, maybe, and activate the mine. That's actually pretty good. All right, let's do that. Okay, um, the mechdoid took no damage from that, which is unfortunate. However, now that you have exposed... Okay, so you've exposed... We could do 52% on you, or 41% 40, or on you with... Um, let's go with the 52% odds and see how we can uh, um, deal with this guy. Nice shooting. All right, good, good, good. Um, and Jen, you've got two shots. Um, I like the idea of we could probably take kill the mech, or we can't see the mech. All right, well, that's cool. All right, well, then we're not gonna let's just take two shots on flanked heavy floaters and do the best we can. Okay, and who's our second heavy floater? Uh, you only have one hit point, right? I'd kind of rather just shoot this guy, but that one with one hit point is awfully... Um, somehow your cover got destroyed. Ugh! Oh no! Oh no! Um, it doesn't look like anyone can see you, but oh no! Um, I think in order to save your life, we have to command you to move. Um, that's going to be hard to do. Actually, no, okay. Uh, uh, we're good, we're good. It's the last command, but... Breeze TV, how you doing? We're uh, we're uh, we're having troubles, but we're we're gonna we're gonna be okay. All right, we're gonna command you to get back into the cover, and then um, okay, and then. I guess down here. There, there's fine. Okay. Now, last shot. Um, we could shoot this guy with one hit point. 
shoot this sectoid who's hardly a threat, or shoot this guy in the back who is um, has a lot more than. But yeah, okay, let's do this guy. Sixteen hit points. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're 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 having a bad time. We're, uh, we've got two turns to make it to the truck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Rhino takes a bad hit, but lives through it. Oh, no. Uh, oh, shred grenade. Foucault goes down. Did I bring a backup med kit? I don't know if I did. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Okay. Flanked muton. Maybe the Shiv will just go make a run for it. And, uh... We got two people who can make a run for it. Um... Twitch has amazing speed. Um... Maybe the two of them are gonna... We get... Okay. Okay. If we make a successful run for the truck, you can save. I know, and that's that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, if the Shiv can make it and survive, then uh, if they make it, yeah. If, if if I wonder if there's any pods down there. Hard to tell. Um, yeah, if those are the, if these are the valves, um, yeah, we don't actually see very much. Um, hard to tell. I'm sad that Foucault was the one who, uh, um, went down, because Foucault's got the command ability. Oh, he didn't have any commands left anyway. Um... Yeah, I think that's all we can do is try and have the Shiv go as fast as he possibly can, and we cover him as much as we can. All right, let's um, uh, suspense continues to build. Yeah, we're uh, we're 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 doing terribly. Um, okay. I think we can cause a lot of death right here, pretty easily. Oh yeah, we have to kill this guy. Um, let's... Huh. We run up here, free shot, and then kill... We get, Yeah, we could kill these two floaters pretty easily. Um... We could kill... From here, we could kill one floater, and then I could rapid-fire that one for what that's worth. The problem is, yeah, we need to be able to do this without um, losing anyone in the next turn. And that is going to be hard to do. Okay. I think we can kill these two floaters with grenades. That would be, uh, yeah, we can, we can... Are you actually going to be inside that, uh... 
All right. So we can do a mine there. Um, Duke Hippo has one grenade left, but we still need to kill this guy. Um, Jen could probably kill this guy. Um, Jen's got one shot. Maybe we need to kill the Muton on Overwatch with the... Uh, yeah, I think we need to kill this guy. That was a really tough shot. All right. A little bit rough. A little bit rough on that shot. Um, I think everyone has... Okay. Um, Spitfire, you've got a shot. Uh, we need to do a lot better than that. Oh, that was a hit and run shot? Do you have lock and load? You don't have lock and load. So all you can really do is... is yeah. Does, that actually doesn't help you at all. Um... Oh, okay. Um, you're gonna have to run past a... Huh. Okay. Well, Twitch can get off three shots. Provided you don't duck and roll. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's, uh... First... First you... Oh, man, these guys are just surviving. Uh, okay. And one more. Okay. Um... And I don't know how I'm going to kill this guy, this uh, this floater, this one hit point floater. Because I think everyone's act. Well, okay, wait. Um, Spitfire, can you pull out a clutch? Um, that explains why your aim is off. All right, so you're being suppressed. Um, You've got a 59% chance to kill this guy with a uh, pistol. Because I don't think I can do anything about that suppressing guy. Um, unless we just... Huh. Um, hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let's do what we were going to do. Um, Mina will toss a mine out, and I'm, I just don't like the way this is. You know, it doesn't even really matter. It doesn't even really matter. All right, let's uh, let's include. Okay, no, let's. Uh... I guess we'll do that. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, and then do Kippo. Alien grenade. You get it over here. Oh, you might. We might get you get a little bit closer somehow. Okay, how can we get you closer? Can't really get you closer, can we? We can get you one step closer, and then you'd be in half cover. That's amazing. But it is what it is. We got. We got to do it. Um, are you the one being suppressed? No. You're just shredded and... Okay. Um... Alright. That's the best we could do. Alright. 
Oh, that's good. That's a good. That's a good spot. All right. Okay. Um, that floater's down. So if we came up here, we could blast that floater once with the uh, close encounters, and then try and um, destroy the other floater in the air with a rapid fire. Let's do it. All right. And you. I don't like these odds. Oh, that's that was a nice hit though. Oof. Okay, um 59 to your best. Ugh. We're going to lose people. Oh, wait, do you have another shot? All right. One more time. Oh no! Okay. So we can come over here and... So my thought is we can come here and try and suppress the, uh, um, the floater. And I don't know how we're going to survive the next round. Um, uh, just run the ship to the end point? I guess. I guess we could do that. If they shoot, if they try and shoot the shiv, then um, that might be good for us. Okay. I don't even know if we'll be able to make the... Uh, Oh yeah, that was the only thing I need. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we're just gonna bring a lot of people. Oh. I think that was uh, Duke Hippo. No, that was Morrison. Um. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> where is this ground they're losing? Jesus. They're back. Ooh. Shrugs off the side panic. Okay, well, let's... Uh, oh, can't make it this round. We gotta survive one more round. Um... So maybe what I do is come up here and suppress someone. Because there's no point making the rest of the, the journey down. Um, and it's really only just a little bit more distance. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, I need this valve. I need someone to make this valve, don't I? Is it set? What happens? Well, there is there a, a zero turn, or is this my last turn? Because if I, uh... oh, this sucks hard. Okay. Um... That looks like our target. Get over there and extract the weapon before that whole place goes down. Well, we have a new objective. Hmm. Four squares shy. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put this uh, question to the chat. I see three options. We either uh, abort the mission and call this a loss and shake our heads sadly. The other option is restart the level and I make another choice, uh, make another attempt at this. The other option is teleport the shiv four square closer and just uh, and just uh, shrug the wind. Um, restart. I think that's probably the most satisfactory way. Cheat time, but Billy Bob Joe, that's not a vote. It's a game. I know it's a game. It's a game I like to take seriously. Okay, uh, restart. Okay, um, do Kippo. Uh, you're not dead yet, so uh, you, you don't have to worry about that. Either way, we'll. Uh, all right, um, let's do a restart. I have no strong opinions one way or the other. I get profound feelings of guilt and shame when I cheat, um, but I, I am I am weak and I must do it. Yeah, that's the consequence of cheating. We don't get our war master. Oh yes, do Kippo. You've been a uh, uh, you're our engineer and you've been doing great. Uh, you and te uh, you and Mina have been um, tag teaming. Uh, or not tag teaming, but sort of working cooperatively. Mina sh launches the mines and you detonate them with a grenade, giving them a double whammy. And you both have tandem warhead heat grenades, so it's amazing. It's uh, it's it's all good. All right, let's um, um, I guess we do the same thing we did before, eh? Let's just okay. time to get three mechdoids in. Oh, well then. Okay. Three heavy floaters. And one um, exposed witch. Okay. Fun stuff. Okay, I think the way we do this is... Um... um one guy's really far advanced, isn't he? Oh, and one's flanked. I wonder if we can uh, take them out. Um... Um, well, you've got the hit and run shot, so... Wait, how is that go Is he sitting... Is he sitting on the roof? He's just sitting on the roof! He's not even flying! He's sitting on the roof! Well, fine. Negative damage. Yeah, whatever. Huh. Okay. Um, the hit and run bug isn't working today. Interesting. I thought it was. Um, but that wouldn't be the first time that it has not worked on a mission map. Interesting. Okay. Um, we're going to restart level. Sorry. This is a... Um, because of my misunderstanding of the hit and run bug, Twitch is uh, out in the cold and it's going to get, get burnt by... Uh, um, by a, uh, a, a floater sitting on the roof. Okay, like we're gonna be a little more careful now. Okay. If they want this thing that badly, there's no telling what else they might send in to try and retrieve it. That dam is in bad shape, though. We'll need to move quickly if we're going to secure the truck before they do. Okay. Duke, putting you up there. Spitfire. Um. Heading I do not like this mission one bit. 
this is a terrible everything. Okay. Um, let's move you up a little bit closer. And... Um, be a lot easier if it weren't heavy floaters all the way through. Okay, um, let's do a motion tracker. We are totally clear all the way up here. Okay, um, so, interesting. I think if I just go up here, I won't activate anything unless everything is directly down that channel. Um, best thing is to conceal scout and and sneak around. I have a con I, I don't have a conceal scout, but I do have a conceal assault. Um, so that and I always forget that 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 I have this guy. So let's move you down here. And that may be the thing that I try and do. Maybe we just try and sneak people down um, and get to the... Uh, yeah, that might that might work. Okay. Um, Alright, let's move you up here. Okay, we got floaters way off in the distance, so why don't we just keep um, running all the way down. Can you get up there yet? Oh, you can. Nice. All right, let's um. Okay. Good work, Strike One. That'll buy you some time to get to the truck. Um. Let's move you down here. Okay, let's uh um... hostile aircraft moving in the vicinity of strike one's position. It looks like the aliens are bringing in reinforcements to go after the truck. Nice! Hey. Mina punishes the chrysalid? Okay. Sectoid reveals our assault. Okay. That's a big drop, guys. This Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. Come on. What the F? What are we? Three chrysalids, sorry, three sectoids, two mutons, and a mectoid dropped on us. Okay. Um, so I think Rhino's gonna come up and uh, maybe merc this uh, um, merc this muton. <laughs> does what it says on the tin. <laughs> um, okay. We've got a lot of people who are just not in good positions. Alright. Let's 
So I have a question about you and your, uh... That is a big-ass, um... All right. What have you got? Um, okay. What do you have? Why are you so... Okay. Um, you're a boss. Leap. Venice implant. So you don't have anything special. Um, just making sure we don't have any weird uh, sectoid... Uh, people with abilities. Okay. All right. So Spitfire has hit and run, and light him up. So we've got a lot of shots we can take with you. So why don't we go for um, this feller? That was a. That should have been one hit and run. Um. Oh yeah, and this guy. Okay, let's take a um, shot on you. That was not a hit and run. Okay, so you've got one more shot, and then uh, and then someone has to hunker down. All right, let's start uh, start eliminating. Oh, you're not on Overwatch. Interesting. Okay. Um, Okay. Damn, there's a lot of targets we have. Yeah, Rainbow Monk, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're second timeline event on this, uh, on this mission. Um, straight up just ran out of time on the, uh, on our first attempt. Okay. Uh, Twitch. Um, I think we need you to actually do some crazy things with, uh, um, yeah, crazy things with your, uh... I think we need you to come up here and merc the Muton and the Chrysalid. Who else would you have lines of sight on? Okay. Um, ideally... Alright, yeah, we'll do that. It's all good. It's all good. They're just sectoids. Just sectoids. Just sectoids. Oh. F I forgot the mutant on the roof. And a sectoid. Okay. They're only sectoids. All right. Let's, uh... We're gonna close encounters this guy. Okay, we're going to hit and run the sectoid or the chrysalid. And I think we got uh, one shot left. Okay. Um... If I'm to take out this, uh, this Muton, it's gotta be with Rhino. Um, run and gunning and, uh, and, and doing the thing. Okay. Okay. Now that should free up Jen to murder the um, the Mectoid. Go for it. Nice. One more time.
Okay. Just a couple of sectoids, and then we just have floaters to deal with. Um, it is unfortunate that you are the way you are. All right, let's see if um, let's see if Twitch can uh, shotgun Twitch. Okay, let's see if Buko can murder. Uh, would have rather you killed. That would have been ideal. Um, uh huh. And then you have that guy to kill. All right. I guess. I guess. Uh, this is still not ideal. Um, oh, wait. Shiv. Shiv to the rescue. Okay. Um, if Shiv comes up here, that should... That might actually make you impossible to see. Okay. Um... Um, we could suppress the War Master or put you on Overwatch, and uh, it's just the two of you, right? Yeah, let's suppress the War Master. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's suppress the War Master. Now, the chances are you're just going to take a hit, and then. Um, And then stop suppressing. But what is going on with that car? Why is it fading in and out of existence? Fired through the suppression. Didn't give a shit. Darla Hero, you are a very brave, brave ship. Okay. Um. Rhino, I need you to get out of uh, um, Jen's face so that you can uh, um, you have no no one can see you right now, so that means you could feasibly find a place to uh, find a place to hang out kind of need to pull you back to uh, reload and not be shot at anymore. Um, no. Rhino's still in the, in, in, in the place. If we moved you out of there, um, then Rhino could go there and cloak, and that would be awesome. I'm on the move. And then Jen's, uh... Okay. All right, Jen. Let's kill that War Master. Not bad. Ow! Um. All right. Okay, why don't you take a shot? Ooh. And then... Maybe what we do then is drop a smoke grenade? Smoke cloud? 
I don't think we need to, actually, because we still have you, and you can drop the, the, the smoke grenade. So, why don't you take another shot? Actually, you might even be better off reloading. Actually, you're better off reloading so that you can shoot twice next time. That's what you're going to do. You're going to reload. You're going to drop um, smoke. And go on Overwatch. Um, I think you're just going to go on Overwatch. And Twitch, we need you over here. Um... It's unlikely they're going to rush us. They might. Um, I would much rather... Is that in the smoke? I don't think that is in the smoke. Alright, so... Um, that would be in the smoke, but very flankable. Alright, there we go. Shot Renard. Good dodge, Mina. Okay, and um, who's suppressing? You're suppressing. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can put a stop to that. Nope. Suppression stands. Um, we could come up here and get a free shot. Um, and I'm okay with that. Uh, 72 on you or 90 on this guy hard to say hard to say um, well no it's got to be it's got to be on the 90 because that's the one that we're in close range with survives it ooh wonder if we can bag him we can uh, we can get her uh, floater back after all okay Mina 20 is suppressed, but that is okay. Um, okay, we got a... Um, as much as I would like to bag this guy, he is too dangerous. Unless someone else can... Uh, nope, not you. Um, you're, too f you're the one with the... Uh, yeah, unfortunately you can't. Okay. Let's um, grab this. Oh, you were the not the person I thought you were. Weird. Okay, that's okay. That's okay though. Huh? That's okay. Alright, we can, uh, yeah, let's take this shot and then reload. Um, yeah, let's try and, um, let's try and kill this guy who is... Uh, 
and Garlashiv is going to come out here and uh, suppress the remaining guy. And yeah, we got to bring you back here. All right, Duke Hippo, you are back in cover and in smoke. And let's reload your weapon. And we're good. You're just going to shoot through the suppression again? Well, that's a shiv that, uh, that's already been rebuilt twice, or, or once already. I don't know if, um, that's gonna be inside that circle or not. I don't know if these circles are perfect cylinders or if they're spheres, but everything else seems to be work, it works in, in spheres, so I don't think it, that is the case. Okay, um... If we came up here, it, it might be worthwhile just to, because uh, you've got the dead eye. Um, let's focus on killing things with you. Mm, we can still do that. All right. A double shot. Nice hit. Oof. Okay. Didn't work out. We're gonna move Spitfire up here. Take this shot. Oof. Getting down there. Um. We can come down here and take... Yeah, that's a... Uh, Alright, Jen, I think you need to help us out. Good, good, good. Alright, let's try and... Let's do another um, motion track. Interesting. Okay, let's then, in that case... And let's see what is coming up. Scanning. All right. So that's not the insane pack of uh, of floaters that we had last time. It's just three. It's just three floaters, um, which we can manage. So if they're still there next round, um, or maybe Jen activates them right now. How does that sound? Um, I think it sounds like a bad idea, if I'm being honest. Let's, um, let's set everyone else up for a, uh, uh, push and we'll um, we'll keep going. All right, yeah, that's what we'll do.
All right. We have activations. We're good. I think we're okay. I think we'll be okay. Just getting a sense of how we might do this. Jen, what do you got? Um, this guy, 92 on this guy, 100% on this guy. I wonder if we can get... Um, oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That was a bad call. That was a very bad call. Um, shouldn't have reloaded your gun and took that spot. Because um, we could have done better. And eh, we could have done better. Um... If Mina comes up here, no, that won't work. Okay, I, I think Mina does have to come back, and we will try and get a... Uh, um, We need you to come up and take that position. We can grab this valve right now, right here, right now. That'd be alright. Take a uh, take advantage of this flank shot. And keep it up. Alright. This is a floater that isn't going to be floating very well. Everyone else is kind of already set up, so let's... Get ready, strike one. Hostiles are moving on your current position. Nice shot. They keep suppressing Mina, and I don't care, because Mina's not there to shoot. Um, it will affect her grenades, but that's, um... Fine. I don't know where... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Um... Okay, we got some problems. Um, we got some problems. Um, namely that we have a floater that we don't know where he is. Um, a heavy floater that just decided to... Um, Uh, 
where did, would he have gone? Could have let. Yeah, alright. Okay, so we have one mectoid who's in the dark, three floaters, one's launched behind us, probably, and two sectoids. Okay. We can come up here and uh, take care of that sectoid on the roof. Um, Yeah, there's that sectoid. Still don't know where the floater is, though. Alright, I wonder if this is going to be a close encounters, if it's close enough, or a hit and run. Um, guess that was a close encounters. Um, alright, where is you? So it might be the case we need to um, get you to start coming back and dealing with the uh, um, dealing with the mechdoid that's coming back at us. I where he landed down. Okay. Um. Oh, there's the floater. Oh, how? Do oh, okay. Well, that sucks. We need someone to deal deal with that guy. That is um, unfortunate, but I think that might be Duke Hippo's job. I think Duke Hippo needs to uh, um, start making our way back and uh, um. Why is your aim on these guys so rough? Are you being suppressed? Are you, uh, you're not under suppression. Oh no, you're not, you're not the aimer. Um, you are, okay. Um, are you suppressing? No, you can't actually see the... Wait, you are suppressing. Okay. All right, you're not suppressing anymore. Perfect. Um, I think we have to command you to kill the, uh, yeah, we're going to command you to kill the guy, and then, um, um, yeah, that'll be fine. All right. That'll work. Perfect. All right. Um, let's eliminate this guy, and then maybe we'll reload because when that uh, mechdoid starts, when that mechdoid comes back, he's just gonna shoot at you, and that's gonna be um, difficult. All right. If you reload and you survive the next round, you'll be uh, you'll be able to kill the mechdoid. So I'm not worried about it. Um, all 
All right, let's do uh, let's do some smoke here. Oh, I was going to go on Overwatch with you. Interesting that I, uh... Um... Huh. And you... Might need to put more, um... Uh, more firepower onto the Mechtoid. No, I think we're okay. Let's, um... Bring you up here. Last shot. I think we uh, reload. Need to get you lock and load so that you can not worry about. <sighs> Do Kippo. I'm sorry. That was that was a brutal shot. Um. Okay, Jen. Okay, I think we can deal with it. Oh, that's miserable. All right, well let's uh, let's deal with this guy. Okay. Let's see if Rhino can finish him off. No, I don't think Rhino would be able to. Um, might be able to if you uh, ran up to him and did a uh, hit and run. Let's see if uh, Jen can. So we've lost two people: uh, a Shiv and Duke Hippo this round. That is sucking a lot. Okay, now we need to uh, get Duke Hippo up here. Okay. Spitfire. Let's see if we can put this guy to bed. All right. And One. more time, please. And... Ah. Okay, Rhino has to make the long journey back. Oh, this guy has uh, a lot of defense. I think we need to throw down another smoke grenade to uh, 
help us out. And I mean, you have to stay there and keep looking tough. Um, oh boy, I forgot about this. Okay, we've got a. We've got to run. All right. Okay, let's move Twitch up here. Okay. Reload and shoot. Rhino, how are you doing? I guess we can um, run you down here. Why don't you um, give me a little helpful squeeze? going to get the yeah, right. We need to uh, eliminate this guy immediately. Is the so if we can put you there, why don't we move Mina up here? Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay. It's an awkward amount of uh, rounds, but it. I guess it's fine. I guess we need to get down there very, very quickly. Okay, let's. Um, I don't want to mess around with that. Oh, we're not going to make it again. Okay. How do... This is a brutal mission. Um, and I don't think I can make it to that... Uh, I don't think I can make it to that thing. The only way I could do it is to run down here and be, and then command to do a run and gun on the next uh, on the next. Uh, but I don't have command. Okay. Um, time is it? It's late. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm. Go I think I'm going to restart this level and also end the stream, um, and we will pick this up make another attempt next time uh which is you know which i think sucks but it is what it is um so we'll do that